world! It's me again, Allison. <laughs> uh, I finally got the spoons to vlog again after losing a lot of my spoons this week. I've had a bit of a rough existence since Monday, which it's Tuesday, so <laughs> look at that, huh? But I just kind of got some closure on something that has stopped me from vlogging for a very long time. And I just kind of wanted to like lay it bare and have a little bit of a moment of vulnerability with you guys. Which is weird because that's usually not what you do. Uh, but this is, this is vlog related, it's okay. So back in May, I, uh, I had an accident on my longboard. Uh, as you can see here, uh, I'm still healing from it. This has been just kind of a pain in the butt to deal with, like this little issue, and I think the bandage badly reacted with my skin last time, so that's cool. Um, but I fell off my longboard, and my Sony A7, the camera I had spent my a tuition refund on, broke. Uh, the ribbon cable holding, oh, uh, holding, uh, the stuff holding the screen, the, the rear screen on, broke. It, the screen came off, and in trying to repair it, I ripped the ribbon cable holding, uh, that transmitted that data. It no longer worked. So I ordered a new one recently. It came in on Saturday. I just uh, got it from the mailbox today. I waited until the end of my stream, and no luck. Uh, in the process of installing the new one, I ripped another ribbon cable that uh, led to the record button and other things. And I, it took a lot of strength to just say, okay. Let's put it down and not cry. Because I've been on an emotional roller coaster about stuff this week. Um, fucking. I ordered a new camera bag the other day, and this is related. And this is why I'm like kind of breaking up a bit. Uh, yesterday, ordered this new camera bag, it didn't fit my laptop, and I was just on the fence for hours about whether to modify it, whether to rip into something. I just bought a $200 bag, you know? And I guess I've just been kind of on edge with photography and videography ever since my A7 broke. Like, I feel really bad about that camera breaking for no reason other than it is kind of my baby. This summer, I feel like in August, I'm probably going to send it into Sony, so I have a B camera again. It, 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 it wears its battle scars and stuff, and it's just like, you know, I would love that camera working again. Just to, just to have it working again. It's just such a... I didn't have the money at the time. I was in between paychecks I was living on, you know what I usually get during the college, what I, not even what I would get during the college semester. I had started, what, in, on the 1st of April? Like, not, like, halfway into the pay cycle? So that kind of fucked things up. I was panicking. I had spent most of my money on groceries and rent and bills and stuff. And I was just panicking. I, I panicked that day. Uh, I haven't vlogged, I've tried to vlog since and talk about, oh, I've got this new A7 II now. It just hasn't been able to come out. I've just been having such a rough time with it. Uh, so yeah, that is, uh, I'm gonna put that up on my list soon. Uh, mail in uh, camera and get a repair quote. Just to finally give my that camera some real closure and we can get back to square one and, you know, use it as a B camera and stuff as my A7 II has kind of replaced it. But, like, not really the emotional, I guess, toll of it. Um, I feel like because I spent that huge tuition refund on it that it 
special to me. I bought this one on credit, which... Snore, you know? <laughs> that was my big leap into full frame, into all that stuff. And that camera was, like I said, my baby. I loved that camera. And I'm, I'm gonna, you know, maybe see if I can't get it repaired soon, just so I can go shooting with it again. <laughs> it's funny, because I have this fancy a7 II, an overall better camera, and I'd rather be shooting with my a7. Whack as hell, isn't it? Whack as hell. God. So yeah, that's what's been happening, and I just really wanted to talk about that and um, stuff. <sighs> Oof. That was... It was a little harder than it needed to be to say, but I guess after tonight trying to replace the ribbon cable and stuff that the truth come out, Allison's camera broke. <laughs> Jeez, that was, that was hard, that was hard. But now that I've got it off my chest, I can talk about other stuff. Uh, if we want to go back to that camera bag, uh, let me show you. We should... <laughs> Back to Happies. Uh, it's a Brevity Roll Top, and I was gonna make a video on it uh, on my main channel, uh, but after modifying it, I don't feel great about it, so I'll just like kind of yak about it here. Uh, it's really cool. I like it. It's a cool little adventure bag. It's got a bunch of neat features that I like as a photographer, so uh, worth the 200 bucks? Yeah, absolutely. Um, just make sure uh, to check that your laptop is 15 inches diagonal before you buy it. Um, I kind of wrongfully assumed that my Dell was. It is actually 18 inches diagonal, which there is no way that was fitting. So I uh, bit the bullet after looking at my options and was like, screw it, whatever, I'll, I'll modify it. And it works well still. I, I love this bag. It's spectacular. It's been nothing but awesome since I kind of, you know, got it. It's a cool bag. It's really cool. So, uh, yo, shoutouts to Brevity for making an otherwise cool camera bag. You guys rock. Uh, for the most part. Just make the laptop compartment bigger. Come on. You can do it. Shit. Whew. And now I just want to talk about everything. I got back into Splatoon the other day and, uh, felt really good about that. I've been burned out on that game since December. And it felt really good to get back at it, to, uh, to, to, to play it again, and uh, to enjoy playing it. I was, that was a feeling I hadn't had in a long time, so that's really nice. And I, I guess that's all I really want to say. I don't really have a topic in mind. I mean, it's Pride Month, and all I really want to say there is Pride was a riot started by two trans women of color, so as a trans woman, I immediately feel a little, like, super connected. I'm kind of part of the origins of pride, I guess, you know? That's, that, that's, that's people like me, that was girls like me. And that's crazy. And I really want to just maybe talk about what pride means, because... Last year was my first Pride Month where I was of anything of note. Uh, that was my first Pride Month out, and uh, now I'm all the way out, as we established on this vlog, uh, this vlog a million times. I'm all the way out now, and I'm glad I can celebrate Pride like this because it means a lot being able to be where I am talking about what I'm talking about you know vlogging about breaking my camera and a bag I had to modify and then yeah so pride means a lot to me guys just as your local transgender lesbian like I'm just gonna put that out there it, it means a lot so yeah happy pride folks <laughs> all right I think that's enough out of me yeah, that's enough out of me, so. Thanks for watching. I'm glad we could catch up. And, uh, I'll see you soon? I hope so. Bye-bye.